You go there for like six months or a month, will your hair still have a curl on it? Mm. All of our clients still have a curl. So we'll never damage your hair if that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, our yeah. USP. Maybe put your fingers in midway through here and just join your fingers, split that hair, do your next one, top of ear, split, and then when you go above your ear, that's gonna be when you do your wide ones. But you will know.
be like that. Cool. I don't know. This is a boy. Oh. Yeah, that's cute. This is. So I'm thinking about getting these because they just, they're a vibe. But I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. so this is where I plan all my outfits. This is like so cool. And I just literally cropped from the website and then pasted. Is that long though? Okay. Um, um, it's therapeutic. I make an activity out of it. <laughs> Cause and then so show me what you're wearing now. I actually don't. <laughs> this one on there. You said you did. Now this is okay. Well, this is my boots. Okay. Um, which you're wearing now. I am. Yeah. You can see that, like the oversized blazer look, like. Uh, so I actually need some leggings. So now I know I need some leggings. So if I see any, I'm like, okay, could get those. Um, I did actually just, I have that hat, but I'm liking these shoes. And if you see, there's some shoes right there that I literally like. Yeah. And then also this, I like this. So I need to get some tights and I also need to get um, a, a mini skirt and a sweater. I do have a black sweater. Yeah. Oh, they're a bit snug. What size is that six? Yeah. Do you know I never really buy shoes from right? Cool. It's really giving. Yeah. Yeah. It takes away the essence when it covers the, the cowboy shape. No, but the cowboy skin spice cream without the cream because I didn't have vegan cream. Um, frappuccino is amazing. Like it tastes like cool milk pudding if you know what that tastes like. It also tastes like cool milk porridge, but very spiced. It tastes like my grandma's. It's so good. My grandma's house is so good. Makes me want to actually be a serious uni student. Uh, the aesthetics. Honestly, I feel like aesthetic is what gets most students through it. Most students? It's, it's what gets me through life. Hi everyone, um, yeah, I am back now from my birth, my pre-birthday din with Crystalie, my, my sister. We went to the Ivy and it was so lovely in there. It was really lovely. I, um, yeah, I hadn't been there before, but I've been to like the Ivy before, but yeah it was super lovely and they even bought me a little cake thing well it was mushy but it was um it was dairy so i couldn't actually have it but i did try a bit and it was really nice um but yeah and we also went to starbucks which i'm so happy that i got to try the pumpkin spice frappuccino um i will be trying to make that at home actually because let's be honest we in a crisis um, but yeah, it was really, really good and I, I will definitely like try some more and try and like ask for different things. Cause you know, people are like, oh yeah, this is what I got. Here's my order. I don't drink coffee. Um, but I want to be able to like 
ask for something more creative than what's just what's on the menu so if you guys know anything that I can ask for please do comment uh, some ideas because yeah I want to get into it a little bit she says after she just says she needs to reel in the Starbucks money vlog but um, I'm heading into the bath now and yeah I have got my sleep salts and I'm just gonna like soak in the bath and then just have some tea and then go to bed because I have not had a hot drink all day can you believe that um have some tea then go to bed and then tomorrow when I wake up I will be 29 so we're gonna go out me and Dan um not sure where we're going but yeah I'm excited just to chill and just to celebrate with my love um, so I'll bring you guys along and let you guys know what we're up to and also Sunday I'm very excited because I'm just gonna clean the house man like it's really been abandoned and this is my like this is my self-care to myself I'm gonna <laughs> clean and tidy and just like decorate the house for autumn and then go for a Sunday roast. Good morning, YouTube. Say good morning to the vlog. What up? We are, it's Sunday, and we are on the way to Farmer's Market. Just got like a couple of things on the list to get, and then, yeah, today I'm gonna be like cleaning and just resetting the house because I've let it get out of hand. Um, and also filming the hall, the autumn hall for you guys. Nice. So yeah, that would be cool. I'm really, really excited because then I can actually use the things that I have bought. I've been like saving them in the bags for the hall, trying not to open them. But yeah, we're on the way to the farmer's market this morning. It's, we've not been, um, 
it happens the first Sunday of every month and it is the 2nd of October. Yesterday was my birthday. We had a really lovely time. Yeah, it was really good. Um, we, as you will see, we did pottery and went for some dinner. And yeah, it was a really good experience. Pottery was really good. I didn't like, I thought I would absolutely love it more than I did, but I was like, wow, this is really, messy and yeah like the concentrate it is so relaxing but the concentration it takes is like also very relaxing but at the same time it's like oh this is a thing and obviously because you're having to mold the the clay properly and if something goes wrong then oftentimes you have to just like start again with fresh clay so lots of lessons there but i'm so glad that was ticked off well dan's autumn winter bucket list um and i'm glad i got to try it yeah i will take you along the market so you can see what we see and i will catch up with you later today also guys can we just deep how cute these babies are um Harley Briggs, her dog has had puppies and they're so cute. Like that is a dream literally, they're so cute. Oh. We are tote bag people. Hi everyone. We had a lovely experience finding a market that wasn't actually a farmer's market, but then headed to the nearest one and we got just what we need and that's important um, and yeah some really cool things not too overwhelming not too many um, stores to choose from which is kind of good so yeah we're feeling good and now the sun's out and the sky is blue so it kind of doesn't feel like autumn but doing things like this 
gets you in the zone, which is lovely, jubbly. I don't have much battery left, but, so we, so my thing is, I want to try and find farm produce, good quality like produce, fruit and veg, that I don't have to pay a lot for, but obviously it's probably gonna be more than like, like very cheap supermarkets but I just want to find the balance because today I wasn't like mega excited about the prices but obviously it's the first one we've been to and I guess the closest one so yeah I'm on the hunt for that sweet spot of a local produce catch really it's tricky because I, yeah, what I'm finding is that in, um, when I'm going to like Tesco's, I'm seeing, there are lots of like a few, I guess, apples that are seasonal apples, but for the most part, a lot of their like fruit and veg are kind of the same. And um, also I do get very bored very quickly. And then also I'm just wanting to buy like organic more in the supermarkets and, I, I will actually weigh it up like which is cheaper but sometimes it's just nice to go somewhere else to get your produce and also get it just like fresh freshly picked rather than packaged and whatever so yeah I'm trying to strike a balance because again I'm not here to spend like loads every week but we don't need loads every week because what we got is actually quite a lot if I actually plan it out in meals which I have done so I'll share that um, when I do the food prep I'll share like what the meals are and how I'm hoping to move forward with like meal planning and stuff but yeah it's very interesting because some people say oh I got this full tote bag for like less like 10 pound max and I'm like where where did you get it 